Well, it's been a whirlwind of 24 hours for the Philadelphia Phillies and the San Francisco Giants. Gabe Kapler's team is struggling on the road. The Phillies hope that continues here tonight at Citizens Bank Park. It's game one of a three-game series between the two top teams in the wild card. See, the Phillies have a two-and-a-half game lead uh, in the wild card for the number one spot, San Francisco is plus a half game over Chicago. Chicago's had an amazing second half. Then you got three teams who are one game back. Hey, everybody. I'm Tom McCarthy, along with John Cruck. Nice to have you back in the booth. Good to be back with you, buddy. We'll be joined by Tyron Hatcher in just a little bit. All right, so the Phillies and the Giants, these are important games considering the Phillies haven't won against San Francisco since Joe Girardi's last day, and they're so close in the wild card. Yeah, this is a huge series, Tom. And then, look, August, you don't think a a big series would happen in August, but this is a huge one for the Phillies. last thing you want to do is walk out to have the Giants leave here and be ahead of the Phillies in the wild card race. But here's what they have down the stretch, 38 games each. Good thing is Phillies have 23 at home. We know what the crowds are gonna be like here at Citizens Bank. It's gonna be electric, and hopefully the Phillies can have a a, a good final month and a half of the season. Yeah, so this is the Giants breakdown. May was excellent, June was even better, but then it started to slip a little bit in July and here in August. And again, it's partly because of their road woes. Now. There's slippage, but Wilmer Flores is surging right now. Yeah, and you know, when you watch Wilmer Flores hit, it's a lot like Bryson Stott. There's no stride to it, just a weight transfer, but he can generate a lot of power that way, Tom. And I, I've loved this guy since he was with the Mets, and he just continues to hit against the Philadelphia Phillies. He comes in this series hot. If the Phillies want to win this series, they have to keep this man off the scoreboard. Yes, yeah, StatCast powered by Google Cloud gives us a look at his hits here in the month of August. It includes 10 singles and three home runs. He is in the lineup tonight. So is Michael Conforto, who has great numbers against the Phils. But here is uh, what he has done in the month of August. Yeah, and it's been a great month so far for Wilmer Flores. And this is what the Giants needed. We talk about their struggles in August. But they can count on this man right here with the uh, with the numbers that he's put up. And it's up to Aaron Nola today to slow him down. Yeah, big time start for Aaron Nola, particularly off his last start against the Toronto Blue Jays. All right, so the Phils uh, do get stronger tonight. Not only because Bryce Harper was on the wiffle ball field for the fantastic auction, getting himself loosened up, but also the fact that Jose Alvarado is back with the team. There's the pitching matchup for tonight's ball game. Alvarado will work a day and then be off a day just for the time being. But it's great to have him back on the roster. We'll discuss his importance when we get back. Phillies baseball is brought to you by Toyota. Dear drivers, Toyota has 20 models with all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive. Toyota, let's go places. By the Xfinity 10G network, the future starts now. By Citizens, official bank of the Phils. And by Independence Blue Cross. Learn more at IBX.com. Peak hours, the next generation Xfinity 10G network. Reese Hoskins signing some autographs, taking some photos before today's ball game. He had his workout in already. He looked uh, pretty good, and hopefully he will continue to get healthy. Speaking of getting healthy, Jose Alvarado has been reinstated from the 15-day IL. Luis F. Ortiz has been optioned to Lehigh Valley. Weston Wilson's also been optioned. He was optioned because the Phillies had an extra player because of the game in Williamsport last night. All right, so Alvarado being back, it is huge for the back end of this bullpen. Yeah, it's like a great trade at the trade deadline, bringing Jose Alvarado out of the bullpen. But what it's going to do, Tom, Matt Strom and Gregory Soto, it's going to take some heat off of those guys just because, especially Strom, seems like he works every day. But the repertoire for this man is unparalleled. 100-something mile an hour sinker, the cutter. I mean, you know, when he's right, it's two strikeouts an inning at least for this man. And this is what the Phillies need. They need that back end of the bullpen to help to get the ball to Kimbrell. And it took, will take pressure also off of Sir Anthony. Yeah, Audi presents uh, the pitch arsenal for Jose Alvarado. I don't think we've had one that just has two pitches, but that's all he throws. That's all he needs. What else does he need? Doesn't need anything else. So this is what he had done before going on the IL. 20 of his 26 appearances were scoreless topping at 101 miles an hour, 39 strikeouts in 26 innings of work. It's a nice weapon to have 
and hopefully he stays healthy. Giants are in town. Michael Conforto's in the lineup for Gabe Kapler. He met with the media earlier today. Up next, a big wild card battle. Auction benefits. Uh, well, Bryce is just going to get out and play, play a little wiffle ball, but he's doing some jumping with the little kid, too. That's, a, that's a, oh, look at this. That is unbelievable, huh? And then, uh, obviously, the to the yard to throw some wiffle balls. He also took some hacks, too. Got to be careful. Ouch. Phillies and Bryce, you know, everybody, they, they've been busy these last couple of days. Pretty good right-handed swing. That's a heck of a thing he does, and he does it every year. Yeah. Raises a lot of money for Phillies charities. And yeah, very cool. Fanatics ready to go, John. He's back from Williamsport with everybody else. Nick Castellanos getting some final instructions from Paco Figueroa. Little outfield play. There's Gabe looking California relaxed, isn't he, John? Well, it's... It's a way of life. Aaron Nola is ready to go. He needs a big outing He tonight. needs a great outing. Gosh, he needs Just a big Just to get outing. himself going. And, you know, with all the rest that these guys have been getting, uh, you know, it could go one way or another. It could be great for him. Or, you know, we saw Michael Lorenzen, what he did after throwing a no-hitter. What, he had eight days off or something? Yeah, well, tech, it, it, he had eight days, and then the ninth day was the day he pitched. Yeah. yeah. All right, here's the Giants lineup brought to you by the Xfinity 10G Network. The future starts right now. Lamont Wade Jr. leads it off, then Jock Peterson. Wilmer Flores, we told you during the open, he has been red hot. Conforto's been hot, too, at 249. A lot of uh, other non-household names, although Johan Camargo's on there. Former, for the former Philly great, That's Tom. exactly and, right. And we, I was just in there talking in the Giants booth with another former Philly great. Hunter Pence Hunter is in the Pence house. Is in the house. He looks good. He looks like he can still play. Yeah, that's 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 you know that's one reason you don't like him. <laughs> He's doing uh, the game tonight with Dave Fleming, who's the former Giants bat boy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I I told him. I said, you know, you did a heck of a job, but man, that double ear flap helmet. He goes, they made me wear it. Okay, that's kind of funny. Yeah. Here's the Phillies defense behind Aaron Nola, Schwarber, Rojas, Castellanos. Sosa starts at third, Turner at short, Stott at second, and Alec Baum over at first. Well, we mentioned that the Phillies uh, players were busy yesterday. Here's Harper talking to the Little Leaguers. I'm going to pick up from right here. You'll be okay. Stepping stone to being great. You know what I'm saying? Stepping stone to being great. Camaraderie, having fun, enjoying it. Win, lose, everything. You guys gonna be great at any that you guys do. I'm sorry, man. You guys are going to make me emotional. Man. That's a bummer. Seriously. Remember, it's a stepping stone, okay? To being great. That's what you guys are all going to be. It's great. All right? I'm sorry. I'm going to say nothing else. All right, there. Yeah. It was tough yesterday. This is one of the billboards that went up around uh, the city yesterday. We're proud of you, Media Little League. The Phillies posted that. Tom Bradley, Scott Crowley, those are two of the three coaches of that team. They did a wonderful job making sure that this was a summer to remember for those kids. Yeah, it was unbelievable. A great run by the team. And, and it was fun to watch yesterday. And, yeah, it was. And, you know, that last inning just got away from them. But, you know, to clutch up in the sixth to tie it and the way they got in, one hit, but it was a walk-off homer. I mean, they had some dramatic wins in uh, this whole process leading up to Williamsport. Well, the first pitch of tonight's game is presented by Carrier. Turn to the experts. And Lamont Wade Jr. leads it off in the first pitch outside. We're underway, and the count is one ball and no strikes. I think that's the thing you have to watch with Aaron right now is, you know, with the extra rest, is he going to be stronger? And with being stronger, is he going to put more emphasis into his pitches? That's outside, 2-0. Now he's going to overthrow the breaking ball, and that it's been a pitch that is uh, hasn't been consistent this year for Aaron. Wade, a 256 hitter with 11 home runs, fouls that back. He may have uh, helped out Aaron Ola on that one. He does get on a lot. He and Kyle Schwarber are behind Juan Soto with their walk percentage. Citizens, the official bank of the Phils. 
Nice to see Andrew McCutcheon on any list, isn't it? It really is. Cutch looked good when we were out in Pittsburgh. Change up low, three and one. Yeah, he's a remarkable human being. Uncle Larry, the whole thing. I mean, <laughs> he's he's creative. Chuck Peterson waits on deck. Aaron's behind three balls and one strike. That's ripped foul. Get those uh, chicklets out of the way. Yeah, that was that had some heat going in out there. Now here's the thing. All right, three two count. He just threw a fastball. He's way out in front of. Him. What's he do now? Can he throw a breaking ball for a strike three two? Can he throw a change up and get a swing and miss? Well, this will be the sixth pitch of this at bat. The first hitter of the night for the Giants. Popped up. JT off of the mask. He's assessing. Right now has room. Makes the catch. Huge. What a way. All right, so Aaron wins the battle there, and now it's Chuck Peterson. JT is just so good when he can find him. Sometimes that Sonny's had trouble, but you know he gets his eyes on that thing. It's an out. Jock Peterson at a 231. He has 11 home runs, 39 runs batted in. That missed just a little low. It's a pretty good spot. He also gets on with the walk. See his numbers against Aaron. There's the first curveball of the night. Odds powered by points bet. The over under is nine and a half. Oh boy, do I got a pick? You going to go under? Yeah, I'm going under. That's out to right field. Pretty Maybe well over. hit. Castellanos going back, and it's gone. Jock oh. Peterson, hmm, his 12th home run of the year. It's 28 now, given up by Aaron. A lot of solo home runs, but it's still 28 home runs. Now that got oh, out in a hurry. You see JT's glove, and he threw it where the glove was. It's just Jock Peterson beating to it. Oh, that stinks. Still going under. Well, now Wilmer Flores, who's been red hot, he's hit reach base safely in 44 of his last 50 games. Hitting 365 since the 1st of June. He's got a little partial mullet working, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. By the way, John, the 28 home runs for Aaron is now a career high. I would venture to guess yes, that's true, Tom. Well, he had allowed 27 uh, back in 2019. Side, one and two. See that pitch right there you get two strikes and he threw a cutter but it was you know a foot outside it's not even a competitive pitch for Flores to even think about swinging at. Well he's just missing with a couple of these pitches. I don't think he's happy either. Two and two. Snowstorm came in last night Topper has his winter jacket on. <laughs> Well, Cotham's got a sweatshirt on. Line drive, base hit it to center field. So now 45 of 51 games safely. And it's a single for Flores, and it brings Michael Conforto to the plate. Right. 
two of the guys that Aaron's faced a lot, Flores and Peterson. Peterson takes him deep. Flores hits a rocket off mm. of him. Now we got another guy that he's faced a lot. Well, Flores now with a six-game hitting streak. As Conforto stands in. Conforto hitting 247 with 15 home runs, 55 runs batted in. You see the career numbers for Conforto, 23 yep. homers. So he's pretty familiar with this place too. He got his hands lower. Inside 2 0. He always started his hands up by his shoulders. Now they're down by his below his chest. Interesting. You think it's because of the shoulder injury or do you possibly think it's just... but he still gets him back up to where he needs to get him. Might just be a timing thing. You know put your hands lower and then time it with your hands coming through. That's down the middle and it's two and one. Good has hit 15 home runs here at Citizens Bank Park. 279 lifetime hitter here at the ballpark. Foul, it's two and two. It's quiet here at the ballpark right now. Well, that scorching line drive by Jock Peterson will take the starch out yeah. of the crowd, but you know, look. If the Phillies can't score one run, they don't deserve to win. At least that's the hope. I hope they score at least two. Yeah. The Giants don't score again. Change up low. Patrick Bailey, switch hitting catcher up next. That's a luxury, isn't it? Yeah, how about the start he's had to his big league career? Caleb's probably thinking, all right, this is going to be the 20th pitch of this inning. Let's get through this. Yeah, nice little double play right here. It'd be nice. Grounder to stop. Foul and it remains three and two. Giants are two and twelve in their last fourteen road games. Some say they're due, and then others will say, like myself, keep it going. Yeah, stay hot. Another one fouled off Rich. Uh, Rich Cottrell's uh, camera. We don't have a spare one, Rich. Don't break it. Diego's giving him the baseball. That was nice. Uh, Diego's a classy human being. Oh, yeah. Look, he put his hand out to protect the camera. Left his face, face exposed. There's a line drive base hit into left center field. Flores will stop at second. That's an eight pitch at bat and that's three straight hits for the Giants. This is not the no. start. The Phillies want to kill caught them. I think he's going to come out. Yep. Here he comes. Certainly don't want to come out in the first inning. That usually means there's trouble. All right, so they'll meet on the mound. Patrick Bailey is due to bat. We have not seen Bailey this year. They've had two rookie catchers start at least 35 games this year, the Giants. Plus, they they had the Bart kid who was their was one of their top prospects. Yeah. Who just hasn't hit enough. No. I this young man is doing all right. All right, so the meeting's over. And now with one man down. And this is a situation right here. If you're JT, you're like, you know what? What do we do? I mean, he threw his breaking ball for a strike once. 
he, I don't think he's thrown his change up for a strike. On the outside corner, that's the one he's wanted. I don't think Patrick Bailey agrees with it, but we'll worry about that later. That one's pulled through the hole on the right side. Flores will be held at third. That was a late hold. And now the bases are loaded. As Bailey. Picks up the fourth hit of the inning. Fourth in for the row. Giants. <laughs> Bailey's now hitting four straight games. Oh, it just tumbled. Yeah, it didn't have that sharp break. Well, now Johan Camargo played for the Phillies last year. Getting a chance to play shortstop for the uh, the Giants. 0 and 1. Tell you what, keep running that thing away from him. You know he wants to do damage against the Phillies. Sometimes when you're over anxious trying to do too much you can throw that thing running away from him you get a ground ball. Outside one and one. Baseball's a funny game Camargo John has been with three different teams this year and was released by the previous two and now he's in the big leagues he was in the minor leagues with Kansas City and Detroit and getting to start on a as of now a playoff team. Fouled back one and two. I don't think I'd throw him a breaking ball right here. Taiwan Walker looking on intently. Ground ball back to the mound. They come home for one over to first in time. And that is a much needed one, two, three double play. He limited the damage. He allowed a home run by Jock Peterson. We'll go to the bottom of the first. Look at the Phillies lineup brought to you by the Xfinity 10G Network. The future starts right now. That youngster's enjoying some popcorn, dancing in the seats. Kyle Schwarber's going to lead things off. Trey Turner hits second. Castellanos bats third. Harper fourth. Rob's making some adjustments to the lineup the last couple days. Part of it is that he just doesn't know who Gabe is going to bring in the game after the lefty, Scott Alexander. Because he is an opener. Schwarber hitting 182, 32 home runs, 78 runs batted in. And he bunts foul up the third base line. It's 0 and 2. See Alexander's numbers. This is a seventh start. Again, he's usually just a lefty out of the bullpen. I'm a big fan of these games. The openers? Yeah. <laughs> and I guess if you have to, you have to. And a foul tip, and Schwarber's down on strikes. One away. <laughs> All right, so one out. Here's Trey Turner. Yeah, breaking ball by Alexander. Tried to check his swing, but it did just tip off the top of his bat. Not a good start. Turner takes a pitch outside. Want to know? So what happens if this guy's pitching good? Do they keep him in longer than 
That's a good question, John. I don't know. I, I think it's gotta go talk to Gabe. Yeah, one or two innings, and that's it. Even if he's pitching well. My drive, base hit it to left center field for Turner. He thought about two. Oh, it gets away. Now he can get there. That'll be the first error for Meckler. Single E8. And the Phils are in business. Yeah, and that, you know, Meckler, they, I'm sure in the scattering report, they said, look, get the ball in quick with Turner. He can fly. And Meckler just, just looked like he peaked up on it. Yeah, he just peaked up a little bit. And Trey was going to stop, but then once he saw the ball get past him, cruises into second. All right, so now with the count, the count is 0-1 to Castellanos. There's Meckler, Wade Meckler. But that's just playing off speed. You know, you, you make, you force the issue. Put us ahead, Nick. Inside, one and one. Castellanos uh, was five for 22 on the road trip. It included a, a home run and five RBIs. His home run kind of changed the complexion of the game on Saturday. So we get a foul. It's one and two. Game sixth season as a major league manager. Cherry Hill's finest right there, right? Andrew Bailey. Andrew Bailey. Inside, two and two. Harper waits on deck. Swing and a miss. Got him with a changeup. Second strikeout. And now Bryce will bat. Sean Manaya starts to warm up in the bullpen. Harper at 293 on the year. Outside. Nine not homers, that, 40 RBI. Not that bat. The fanatic bat? No, the black matted one. Oh, that was a nice oh, one, beautiful. yeah. Beautiful. What a one. So Meg taught that kid in school? Uh, his brother. Oh, okay. Yeah, we had to make a wish visit up here at the uh, the booth today. It was outstanding. Swing it a foul. Turner leads off second. We got time. Alexander was in his windup. Line drive out to left center field. That's going to tie the game. A base hit cut off by Sable. Turner scores. RBI for Harper. And it's a 1 1 ball game. Well, he just went with that. Yeah, uh, that's just that's the only thing you can do. You try to pull that, probably going to hit a grounder, but he made a conscious effort. You see his hands. He made a conscious effort right there to try to shoot that thing the other way. 
That's a beautiful sign right there. And pitch inside to Bohm. It's 1 0. Tapped foul. It's 1 and 1. Alec, uh, 75 runs batted in. See his numbers with two outs and runners in square position. He's hoping Harper can get there. That's bounced up the third base line. Alec, uh, four for 23 on the road trip, John. It's probably the first time he's struggled since April for that long a period yeah. of time. They moved him to the second spot, and he was started off really well, but he'll get it back. Out towards center. That's a base hit. Harper's going to turn second, head to third. The throw goes to second base. And the Phillies aren't done yet here in the bottom of the first. First and third with two men down. Yeah, let's see what Gabe does. It looks like he's going to make a pitching change. Yep, he's heading out. That put a wrench in the plans, didn't it? Sure did. All right, so pitching change. Manaya is going to come in to face JT. Phillies and the Giants tied up at one. Contribution will be made to Nemours Children's Help Help Our Kids Radiothon. You can make your donation today by texting KIDS, K I D S, to 50155 to help Nemours Children's Help. For more information, visit Nemours.org slash radio thought. All right, so Sean Manaya will take over. 30th game for Manaya. Four and three, a 4.89 ERA. And it's a good thing. Two more lefties. After this one, I'm feeling by the seventh, eighth, and ninth, they're only going to have righties left. Yeah, I think your point on the pregame show about they're not all going to pitch well. You got to find the one that's not. Maybe it was the first guy. But we'll see because we're going to see a lot of them tonight. Here's JT who's hitting 247. We need to get him hot. 15 home runs, 50 RBIs. 0 oh and 2. Not sure he liked that, Tom. Didn't seem like he did, no. <laughs> Sorry, get him here. Swing and a miss. And the side is retired. Well, the Phillies do get a run on the RBI from Bryce Harper. We'll head to the second, all tied up at one. Available at a new low price for the season starting at $59.99. Blackout and other restrictions apply. Visit MLB.tv for details. Well, it's a 1 1 game. And Blake Sable will lead things off. Sable hitting 239 with 11 home runs. We saw him when we were in San Francisco. And we were mentioning that he's a catcher, but he was playing the outfield. Kind of like Dalton Varsha, huh? A little bit. That's in there, and it's 0 and 2. Thirty pitches already for Aaron. Swing and a miss. That's a good changeup, John. Yes, but the key is getting ahead. You get ahead, that got to be a little more aggressive. 
was a nice one. Started at the knees and just dove down in the dirt. All right, so with one out, here's Wade Meckler. In his Major League debut last Monday. Ground ball toward first. Diving stop by Bone. Flips to Aaron covering. 3 1 on the put out. It's a nice play right there. Glove side, too, is an advantage of being right handed. Our GMC precision play. That ball's hooking away from him. And then it looked like it backed up on him after it hit the dirt, but he stayed on it. Little, nice little flip to Aaron. That, that's a help to Aaron. Big time. Now Casey Schmidt. He fouls it away. Be nice to get this quick out here. Trying to get that pitch count back to some sort of normal. High bouncer over to short. Take it on that big hop by Turner. Inning is over. Well, that is a very nice inning. Six pitches, all strikes. Middle of the second. It's the Giants won the field. Ahead entry is now an option. It's frictionless. It's a great way for fans to enter the ballpark. Now, Citizens Bank Park is the first MLB ballpark to adopt go-ahead entry. It's an opt-in, first-of-its-kind, free-flow ballpark entry experience. Look, it scans your face, and that's how it tells how many tickets you have, and it lets you zip into the ballpark. MLB's focused on a successful launch and execution of go-ahead entry here in Philly for the remainder of the 2023 season. 2023 season. All tickets are tied to the MLB ballpark app, and you'll be enrolled when you go on the app. I saw it. it was a news service that did something on it the other day and saw it for the first time. Outside, one and two to Stott. Bryson at 295. Lines a foul, and it remains one and two. Another typical at bat by Bryson Stott. Get behind, foul some off, get a pitch, hit a base hit. What did you think of his pencil bat last night that he had? Those were incredible. Yeah. Those are the Victus guys that did those. I, I know. I, 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 I couldn't imagine putting that much thought into a bat. <laughs> They look great though on oh, TV. They really did. Bryce's fanatic bat was awesome. Down the left field line this time, slicing out of play. Pitcher's got to hate him. Stop being yeah. fouled so many pitches off. They're like, what else could we do? that pitch back. Yeah that was a elevated I've seen him get on top of that thing and hit a rocket to left center. Down the left field line on the run is Sable and it's going to be out of play. Nice grab by that guy.
It's like he goes up there and like, yeah, I'm gonna foul a few off till I get my pitch. Just amazing how good his at bats are. Outside, three and two. And Mundo waits on deck. Popped up foul. Fans are kind of realizing what, what's going on here. They're I cheering know. at the very foul ball. Yeah, you don't want to go up and get concessions when you know he's hitting. You're <laughs> going to get some souvenirs or the opportunity to get a souvenir. This will be the 13th pitch of the setback. And upstairs, ball four. How about the round of applause he's getting? Look, he's getting a standing ovation from some. Yeah, Rangers clapping because Ranger, uh, not that he's ever thrown 13 pitches to a hitter, but he knows how much stress that puts on a pitcher. Yeah, yeah when you're already doing a bullpen game. Yeah, that'll make Gabe's mind go to racing. That ball gets away from Bailey. It's his fourth pass ball if that's how it's scored. And up to second base is Bryson Stott. That's got to be a pass ball, doesn't it? Yeah. He just couldn't get his glove turned. One ball, one strike. It is scored a pass ball. Got to get Bryson over to third or score him on this at bat. How'd that miss him? It went right across his thigh. Fly ball right center field. Pretty well hit. Meckler's going back. He's looking. It is gone. Into the Phillies bullpen. Two run home run for Edmundo Sosa. It's his eighth of the year. It's a 3 1 game. He just keeps adding to his career high in home runs. Yeah, that's a beautiful thing, but he should thank Bryson Stott for that. After Bryson had that long at bat, and he can tell Manai was out of whack. He makes a mistake. No stride. Well, he got him over, Tom. He sure did. Got him over and in. Yeah, let's start again. Johan Rojas the batter. He takes a breaking ball 0 1. Popped up. Shallow right field. The second baseman, Schmidt, is under it. And one out here in the second. And Schwarber's coming up. Kids 14 and under can represent their favorite team with a Trey Turner t-shirt. Courtesy of IBEW Local 98 when the Phils host the Cardinals. Saturday at 7.15. Secure your seats today at phillies.com. Two and zero to Schwarber. I have to think he's going to get a good pitch here. Pulled on the ground, foul past Paco. Oh, nice play. Kalen was moving. I don't know either. I don't know how he hit it the way he hit it. It was as if he pulled it. Behind him. Behind him. Check swing. 
outside three and two. And ball four. So the inning will continue with a base runner and one out. I don't know if this opener thing's working out. It's not so far, but I'm, I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Andrew Bell is heading out to the mound. As much as I dislike him, this one's pretty enjoyable. Yeah. You know, baseball has had a lot of changes over the years. We've said we've talked about this. The Rays have figured out how to do the opener right. I don't know what it is, but they're able to do it. They're also able to move players around after they work. Because their bullpen's so dang good. Yeah. But it just doesn't seem to work everywhere. Now, I don't I don't have the numbers in front of me, yeah. but I'm saying that my eyes tell me it just doesn't seem to work. Yeah, it seems like the Rays know how to do it. You know, for the Rays, and they're really the first team to do it. They don't do it because they have to. They do it because they want to. Other teams, and I think the Giants are this this boat. I think they have to at this yeah. point. Outside two and zero. Oh. Surprised they ain't got no one up. I just looked and I am surprised. Rounder foul. He may have broken his bat. It's two and two. How about this, John? If you look out into the Giants bullpen, there's only five guys out there. Yeah, I think one of them security. All right, somebody's getting up. The bullpen coach and the the catcher are two of the five or six guys. That's fouled. He's got the spring loaded mask. I don't know why anyone would want to play that position. Right here to warm it up. Ball to third. To second for one. Schmidt to first. He's got a good arm. 5 4 3 around the horn. And the side is retired. But the Phillies take the lead. They do so on the two run home run by Edmundo Sosa. That was a shot. Out into the Phillies bullpen. 3 to 1 Phils. We go to the third. Uh, came out to throw the ceremonial first pitch to Michael Lorenzen. She also did a clinic earlier today here in uh, Philadelphia, and she is standing by with Taryn Hatcher. Thank you, Tom. Well, I'm going to add to that uh, intro because you're now in MLB Youth Softball Ambassador. And for those of you who I don't know somehow live under a rock or un and unaware, Softball Hall of Famer, uh, Olympian at that. And tell me about this pitching tour that you have going on. I understand you're making stops in eight city. Philly was lucky enough to be one of them. Can you tell us uh, what you're doing here with that uh, softball academy here? Yeah, so it came in and we had about 45 girls out there today at the field. And it's kind of just a more like in-depth. And most of these big girls are all from the academy. And so they're involved in RBI, the youth academy training. And so obviously like baseball, overhand is overhand. Everyone was a pitcher at one point. Where softball, it's totally different. And so really just kind of trying to bring in the gifts and talents and expertise of pitching and sharing it with these young girls and hopefully encouraging them um, on their onto their careers. 
And I understand the kids you got to work with today were from the Philadelphia Urban Baseball and Softball Academy to get to, and, and we were talking about the number of kids, you mentioned it's, it's in the 40s, to be able to kind of have a more intimate group like that where you get to be hands-on, how rewarding is that for you to give back to these children? It's the best to be able to like, yeah, one thing to connect, but like to be on the field and like changing their grips or, you know, and then once it clicks with them, it's just, it's everything. And so, and then I've been able to like follow these girls, a couple of these, um, two actually of the Phillies Academy girls for the Jenny Fincher Power and Awards. They got $10,000 scholarships. And so now they're both playing in college. And so just to kind of see the fruit of their labor, labor and um, just what the academies are doing and how they're changing lives and impacting um, young girls and boys. When, when you look around, even just this section we're sitting in or, or around these games, the split from female and male fans is so much more even than I think people would expect. How much do you enjoy seeing how much girls are truly into this game? It's everything, everything. And my 10-year-old daughter is growing up watching Alyssa coach for the Giants. Like, what? You know, so it's – and we, I had season tickets to the Dodgers growing up. And um, so now to see, like – just women impacting the game in, in every way and filling the ballparks. It's it's everything and the best is yet to come. It, it only continues to get better and opportunities arise and that's kind of like to these academy kids like take advantage of all of this. Like you have so much at your fingertips. Enjoy it, learn from it, use it, make the most of it. Well, Jenny Finch, thank you so much for all that you're doing, giving back to uh, this community stopping here in Philadelphia at all the stops that you're making to help grow the game. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Guys, All right. back to you. Thanks, Tyra. We appreciate it. Yeah, uh, Jenny's, uh, her her career has been amazing on so many levels. Uh, at both as a pitcher and a hitter. Right. Okay, well, Lisa Fernandez was the one who started the, you know, I'm going to be the dominant pitcher and the dominant hitter. Lisa pitched in a couple Olympics, and then when Kat Osterman and, you know, girl, uh, women like that came, she moved to third base and hit cleanup for him mm. in the Olympics. So, and Jenny was the same. Jenny could hit. Probably still can. She. I don't think she let herself go like some of us, Tom, after we retired. <laughs> one ball, one strike to Wilmer Flores. A home run by Lamont Wade has made this a one-run game. And then Jock Peterson, well, he thought he could get to second base on Kyle Schwarber's arm. Yeah, this was a poor decision. Yeah, yeah, a real poor decision. I mean. Maybe the worst decision was a slide, but that uh, that wasn't a pretty one. But you know there there should be some concern down there in that dugout. Schwarber helped, but Lamont Wade hit one up in the bushes in center, and then Jock Peterson hits a rocket off the fence in left field. So. Two and two to Flores down the right field line, slicing toward the crowd out of play. Six times this year, Aaron Nola has allowed multi home run games. Swing and a foul tip. Second strikeout for Aaron. And now two outs here in the third. Yeah, see now that's a good one. You get two strikes, you got an aggressive hitter like Flores. Make it look good and then end up bad. And that's what Aaron did with that breaking ball. Now finish this inning off. Might be a blessing what Schwarber did for him. Yeah. You know, he's probably thinking, all right, ooh, okay. They gave me an out. Now I gotta now I gotta finish this game. By finish, I mean finish when you leave the game, you still have the lead. I don't think we're done scoring yet though Tom. No it doesn't seem like the ball is staying in the yard tonight. No. No one pitch coming. Change up hit foul by Conforto. And now it's 0 2. Let's see if he can get that two seamer at the hip of Conforto. He hasn't commanded that well this year. Not like I agree with years that. past.
Slaps it the other way. Sosa surrounds it, throws off balance in wow. time. That's a heck of a play. Sosa's having himself a night. Jock Peterson had himself a vision. It didn't pay off, though, because Kyle Schwarber threw him out at second base. All right, your local Delval Honda dealer. Visit DelvalHondaDealers.com. Warm night here in South Philadelphia. It's three to two Phillies. We go to the bottom of the third. This is our GMC Precision play, and it was a heck of a play. Yeah, you could have picked either one. The play by Schwarber or this one by Edmundo Sosa on a left-handed hitter, Conforto. The thing was, he made a strong throw over to Bowman, allowed Alec to stretch. I think Bailey's getting beat up a little bit, Tom. Ball's bouncing every which way. Uh, that one hit him somewhere. Swing and a miss. I guess Manaya was the one that, that just did case. Anderson or Alexander didn't didn't get deep. He's the one who's going to eat up some innings for him. All back. A win two to Castellanos. Nick struck out his first time up. Swing and a miss. And he strikes out his second time up. Second strikeout for Manaya. <laughs> At an RBI single his first time up. A bit low, 1 0. Ground ball off the hands, out to shortstop, charging Camargo. And he throws Bryce out, 6 3 on the put out, two away. NBC 10 and Telemundo 62 want you to help clear the shelters all month long. Help find loving homes for our area's pets. Go to cleartheshelters.com to find a participating shelter near you. Adopt and donate today. Mike Bohm is single tonight. Fouls the first one back. 0 and 1. Oh and 2. Forty three pitches for Manaya, but I'd like to see Alec get on base and extend that hopefully into 50. Some hair, doesn't he? He sure does. It's probably what Marshes look like if he didn't wet it. <laughs> and a high fly ball to deep left center field. Going back is Meckler. It is gone. It slips over the small fence. A solo home run for Baum, his 13th of the year. It's four to two, Phils. Well, that'll extend the inning. It sure will. That was either going to be a home run or off the State Farm side and could have been an inside the park home run because Meckler was really close to the wall. Yeah, he was close, but Conforto was going over. He's played here long enough in right field to know. But yeah, that ball. Yeah, that's over. Yeah, they, they're going to look and see if that fan reached over to touch that ball. But I don't think so. The Carapaza is the crew chief. He's the third base umpire. So they're allowed to do this without it being a uh, 
a review that they could lose. <laughs> read his lips. He said, I thought I was behind. <laughs> <laughs> he did look like he was behind. Yeah. I agree with you, John. I don't think he was reaching over there. I mean, he's, he is behind it. Paul in the field stands at the home run. All right, nice and quick. That away, Alec. 76 RBIs for Bohm. He was very happy yeah. about being a home run. Yeah. I should say Can 77 you, RBIs. Which, would, that have, would they have came in? I don't think they would have told him. Not with either. the thing. The What's that thing for the baby sits on your, what are those things called? I don't know. I really don't. The little thing you put over and baby can sit. Baby Bjorn. Baby Bjorn. Baby Bjorn. You can't kick a guy out with a baby Bjorn on. No. One ball, one strike. That'd be un-American. I mean, that that's, that would be good. I realize that there's so many things that we need to know that just aren't on the tip of our tongue for most well, of our days. I ain't going to lie. When I, was, when I was driving here today, I never thought we'd have to throw baby Bjorn out there on that's the telecast. That's what I'm saying. But, hey, we, there's, like, I, I, there's a lot of things that come in my mind, but baby Bjorn today was not one of them. I would agree with that. I'm going over on the runs. <laughs> I think it's a good decision on your part. One and two to JT. That's oh, a rocket goodness. foul. <laughs> I mean, he just shows up. People break out their phones, don't they? Uh, yes. That's another one who fouled on the left field line. All right, JT. We're getting closer. Now, wouldn't you think you're out in front of those two? You throw something off speed. Well, he goes fastball up. I guess they know better than I. Yeah, second out of the inning, or excuse me, third out of the inning. Well, Alec Baum has given the Bills another cushion. Got a good swing here. It slipped over the fence in left center. They reviewed it. No problems here. Toyota.com to find your 2023 RAV4 Toyota today. Toyota, let's go, Phils. The Fanatics try to get through the section down in the CP Rankin Club. Found some hair that he could play with. Found a little guy he can oh pick boy. up. Oh, boy. That's bad parenting. Look at the smile on the kid's face. All right, so now we go to the top of the fourth inning, and Patrick Bailey leads it off. Bailey singled his first time up. Pulls a foul, and it's 0-1. Giants have 123 RBIs by their rookies this season. That's the fourth most in Major League Baseball. Sosa in foul territory will give way to Schwarber. Good move. He makes the catch. And one out here in the fourth. Hey, that's the thing with this time of night. When you watch it, Mundo Sosa running after that ball. He never took his eyes off the ball. The only way. He's not going to see Schwarber. Look at him. He hasn't changed. He's calling for it, but then Schwarber the, does the right thing and calls him off and makes a play. But at this time of night, you can't take your eye off the ball. It has to be sound.
Camargo, the batter, get it to a one, two, three double play his first time up. That was yeah, a big one. Absolutely huge. Side diving stop by ball. He's having himself a night. 3 1 on the put out. Two away. Tell you what, he's in line for the clock radio already. <laughs> with the two great defensive plays. I mean, that ball was blind. I don't know if Stott might have been able to get it too, but that ball was hit hard enough that Alec had to go for it. Makes a great play and a, and a really good feed from that awkward position that far away underhand. Look at this quick here, Aaron. Good change up to start off Sable. Sable struck out his first time up. Breaking ball, he checked his swing. It's low, two and one. Well, he definitely uh, found something, even though he allowed a home run. 28 pitches in the first inning, but he's about to throw his 27th yeah, he's been helped over three out by, innings. He's been helped out by his defense, too. Over to first again. bohm has got it. Flips to Aaron covering. Another 3 1 put out. Hit it to someone else. He's a vacuum over there at first base. Giants go one, two, three. Give Alec Baum a yingling flight. Make it light. He's got some at bats left. Visit Toyota.com to find your 2023 RAV4 Toyota today. Toyota, let's go, Phils. Well, Sean Manaya will continue on here in the fourth. He'll face Bryson Stott and Mundo Sosa and Johan Rojas. The Phillies are uh, 10 games over 500, two and a half games up in the wild card. Fell behind 4 0 yesterday and tried. They did try. Well, this might be Manaya's last guy. They got the righty warming up. You got righties coming up after him. Yeah, Jelly continues to warm up in the bullpen. One ball, one strike to Stott. Had a 13 pitch at bat his last time. I don't think he liked that, Tom. Doesn't seem like he was overwhelmed by it. <laughs> there we go. Ground <laughs> ball over to first. And Wade will take it to the bag. Three unassisted. And Edmundo Sosa is going to come up. Sosa provided us with our giant home run replay. It was a doozy. Yeah, it was. Got behind, no stride. Drives that thing out to center field, and the ball is traveling today. But that was huge right there. That's our giant home run replay brought to you by our friends at Giant. Maybe put the Phillies up. Well needed. Well needed. Surprised. What the that changing him here? Yeah, I guess they're trying to get one more inning out of him. And
One ball no strikes to Sosa. Out to right center field again. This one will stay in the yard but it's going to go to the wall. And Sosa's on his way to second. He's thinking three. They overthrew the cutoff man. No play. Second triple of the year for Sosa. Tell you what, he just thrown two great at bats up against these left handed pitchers. He splits the gap, but look where he's at. He's watching it, but he's running hard. And there wasn't, he wasn't even thinking about stopping at second. That's his 10th career triple as Gabe's going out. And they'll make another pitching change. They'll bring in the right hander to face Rojas. We'll be back right after this. Last flash sale of the season. With this ticket deal, select games will have tickets starting at $20. Offer ends on Wednesday, August 23rd at 11.59 p.m. or while supplies last. For more information, visit phillies.com slash fire sale. All right, so Sean Jelly is the new pitcher. Six foot 11. And Rojas fouls it away. It's 0 and 1. Rojas popped out to second his first time up. So this is a third. Infield is in. Bouncer to third base, and that'll chase Sosa back to the bag. 5-3 on the put out two away. How tall is this guy? Six foot eleven. Sheesh. He looks like he's all legs too. And feet. Look how big his feet are. Giant. What other team would it be on? But takes a strike 0 and 1. He's tied with uh, John Roush is the tallest player in Major League Baseball history. 0 and 2. It's out of the University of Kentucky John. Yeah I'll be down there soon. Over. Stay no in runs. The game, Kai. One Stay hit. In the game. One man left. He was not happy about that. Four to two. Phillies on top as we go to the fifth. Joanne Epps, the acting president of Temple University, threw out the ceremonial first pitch on uh, behalf of her school. And we got a lot of owls here in the house. Not only Nick Marquetta, our director, but some others that Taryn Hatcher's with. Thank you very much. Well, I'm here at Temple Head Football Coach Stan Drayton. And uh, Stan, I know you guys are coming out of the dog days of camp, and now you're getting ready for their first game of the season. It's coming up against Akron on September 2nd. How nice is it to be able to give these boys a, a night to take maybe a little mental break from prepping for that? I'll tell you what, it's nice because they earned it. If they hadn't earned it, we wouldn't be here tonight. <laughs> but they. they they earned it, and that because of that is nice. You know, they uh, they've been putting in a lot of work um, intentionally, and uh, you know, it gets physical in camp, and the bodies need a break. And what better way to take a break? And you know, in Philadelphia, watching the Phillies game, where the guys are hot right now, Phillies are hot, and you know, uh, it's just awesome to be here. So it's good. So we had a lovely moment. We were standing back up there, and we we're kind of watching, looking over your teams there, watching the game, and they were enjoying it. And you said, you know, they, they really are just a bunch of big kids. And I said, is it hard getting them organized in here? Is it like hurt? Is it like hurting cats? Do they fall into line? You told me it's pretty. It was pretty easy tonight. Why was that? Well, it's, it's easy because they didn't want the meetings tonight. You know, <laughs> they had a night off for meetings, so hey, they jumped on the bus easily. You know, but normally it's pulling teeth, and these kids get on my nerves. But I. <laughs> I love them to death. You know, they're kids, and, you know, we allow them to have their personalities the way they are. Obviously, we're trying to develop the whole man in the program, but, 
you know, let them be kids while they're kids. Let their personalities come out, and tonight's a perfect night to do that. I now understand you guys get back to work, and you're starting to get ready for Akron to open your season, and you've got an exciting weekend coming up this coming weekend as well because you finally get to get over to the link. How much do you think that kind of reinvigorates your guys after having putting weeks and weeks of work in this summer heat? Well, anytime you get a chance to change the atmosphere in our home stadium, you know, the link, it's, it's awesome. You know, we have a bunch of new guys who've never stepped foot into the link. And we didn't want September 2nd to be the first day that they get that stadium jitters and all that other good stuff. We're going to go ahead and get it out this Saturday. We'll do a mock game situation, get them familiar with the environment. And, uh, hey, when it's time to cut it loose, it's time to cut it loose. So. What is that like for those freshman guys who are going to work for the first time in an atmosphere that's that huge? I, mean, I assume it's, it's very nerve-wracking for them. You know, they have so many high expectations for themselves, you know. They're the man coming out of high school, and they come to college, and they got to kind of fit into their role. And some guys may start, some guys, it may take them a couple of years to start. But, uh, you know, we, we, we're we counting on everybody. When their number is called, they got to be ready. So um, they're preparing well. Uh, I love the way our older guys have embraced our newcomers uh, as their young brothers. And I'll tell you what, um, this, this freshman class is pretty special. And when their time is right, it's going to be good. And finally, Stan, I don't know if you know this. Well, I'm sure you do. But there's a lot of Temple folk in the media. You guys have a pretty good school when it comes to pumping out uh, those folks who go into broadcasting. And I'm sure all of them would come after me if I didn't ask you, what can they expect this year from their alma mater that they love so much? I'll tell you what, and I love this university as well. Um, we're, we're, we're setting out to make you proud. You know, we're... We have our goals in place, but we're not, you know, wishing, hoping, woulda, coulda, shoulda. We got our dreams in place, and we're going to go get them. You know, we're going to be very intentional about our business this year, and uh, we're going to put out a better product on the field. Well, Stan, I wish you guys the best of luck, except for, of course, that one week when they face off with my alma mater, Rutgers, uh, no, up in Piscataway. <laughs> but we'll talk about that off camera, Tom, All right. John. All right, thanks, Tyron. We appreciate it. A couple of good strikeouts by Aaron Nole. Just got that hook working beautifully to Casey Schmidt. And now to the top of the order for Lamont Wade Jr. Still like to see that thing away than, than where, it, where it was, but just the break and the change of speed was enough to get Schmidt. Ground ball to second base, stops up with it. And it's letting Bryson play. He is, it's very nice of him. Well, John, this is a pretty good run right now for Aaron Nola. He's retired eight in a row. We'll go to the bottom of the fifth. It's four to two fills. By SEI Building Brave Futures. Aramis Garcia, who we saw in spring training in the month of August, hitting 407 with six home runs and 14 runs batted in. That's two consecutive multi home run games. That's been a really nice run for him. Trey Turner leads things off at the bottom of the fifth. When Jelly delivers a strike, it's 0 1. Two and one. We haven't scored yet this inning. Have not. Oh. Pacing ourselves, John. Ground ball right side, base hit for Turner, his second hit of the night. All right, let's see if he's going to be off and running here. Don't miss out on weekend baseball when the Marlins come to town to take on the Phils Friday, September 8th at 7.05. That's peanuts night, John. Saturday the 9th at 6.05 is Nemours Children's Health uh, Childhood Cancer Awareness Night. Then Sunday the 10th is at 1.05. Secure your seats at phillies.com. Is that like peanuts, like we get peanuts, or is the comic? Well, you, you can do both, but it's going to be for the comic strip. Uh -huh. Over to third, big hop for Flores. There's one. Schmidt's return throw is in time, 5-4-3. Well, that was fast. Yeah, that developed quickly. Current wild card standings. The Marlins are still in the hunt. Three games over 500. Bryce 
Bryce Harper uh, one for two. Marlins are in San Diego tonight. The LA Angels uh, game against the Reds has already been postponed because of Tropical Storm Hillary. I guess Miami and San Diego are still OK. Yeah, I talked to some friends of mine in San Diego and they said that they there was wind wind and rain been mild flooding but nothing as bad as what they thought. Did you see some of the pictures of Dodger Stadium. It was like an island. There was so much water oh, around yeah. it. Thought we were going to hole up there and run the riots. Check swing. Harper out to center field. Meckler going back toward the State Farm side. He's in trouble. It's rolling along the warning track. Harper speeding around second, heading to third. Dusty's going to wave him home. It was bobbled in center field. Harper's coming home. He'll score sliding. Five two Phillies. Dusty was sending him anyway. I did, yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. He was sending him. No hesitation on Dusty's part, and no hesitation on Bryce's part. But again, Meckler gets too close. And you see Bryce, he was busting it out of the box, and ah, oh, come on, man. Yeah, that was bomb hit by that pitch. Go to first. Yeah, it just makes it funny, you know. Alec hit a home run his last at bat. Bryce just hits an inside to Parker. You know, and I mean he's acting like you know it was an accident, but just the look. And the fact that the catcher jumped out in front of Yeah, I mean, well, was it a breaking ball? Yeah, it almost looked like it was a break. Yeah. So yeah, knuckle, knuckle curve, curve is what it's listed as. All right, I'm going to tap it down off. a little bit. I'm going to back off the. Let's hit everyone. <laughs> By the way, it looks like uh, Harper is credited with it inside the park home run on that. As well, he should be. His 10th home run of the year. And now JT's 0 for 2. At the knees. <laughs> Join the party, JT. Well, you would think you'd get a big jump. Side, but it's one and two. That inside the park home run for Harper is his second career inside the park home run. His other one was against the Nationals. Boy, he was moving. He was. Yeah, and again, that's just knowledge of the ballpark. There's a looper out to right. That'll drop for a hit. Bowen will stop at second. So JT is aboard. Motor and Dusty wasn't hesitating at all. Dusty had him going when he was halfway to third, so you're an excellent third base coach, Dusty. All right, so now a runner in scoring position for Stott, who has walked and grounded out. 
And a liner out to right field. That'll be in for a base hit. Baum's going to score easily. JT's going to third. Conforto's throw goes to the cutoff man. RBI for Bryson Stott. It's 6-2 Phils. Little guy knows it. Yeah, again, this, this is what makes Bryson Stott so special. He, he just has a knack for putting balls in play. Hit it in a perfect spot where Conforto had to go to his right or his left, I'm sorry, to get it. Bryson just keeps going on to second base. And might as well score some more. Uh, the inside, oh, no, off Tom. the inside corner. Tom. <laughs> what do you think he's thinking here, double or single? Well, I'm thinking, I, I'm thinking he's thinking single, because that'll get him two. And then he can get the double later on. Black foul. But two more runs for the Phils. The first one on Harper's inside the park home run. No big deal. This little guy loved it. That's right. He's bought in. Week was tearing it up in AAA before getting the call back to the Phils on July 21st. Through his first 15 starts, he's provided five multi-hit performances was hitting over 400 in his last eight games and is batting almost 350 through the first three weeks of August. He's contributing in every way possible. And that's why he's the Philly of the Week. And it's brought to you by Independence Blue Cross. Well, we go to the top of the sixth inning. Everybody's having a good time here at the old ballpark. The Phillies are on top six to two. Places are actually filled up nicely. Yep, another shocker. Big crowd. Jock Peterson takes low, 1 0. Got to figure out a way to get Jock to hit another line drive off the wall and left. First out of the inning. <laughs> Ten years ago, he'd have beat that out. I would agree with that. Outside. Two balls, no strikes. Peterson homered his first time up. Pitch there, he just hasn't been able to connect on tonight. It's just run off the plate. It started early with uh, Lamont Wade Jr. First two pitches, trying to run away, ran too far away. Seventieth pitch of the night coming for Aaron. Tap foul and it's three and two. That got a piece of it. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. A little pinball action. <laughs> <laughs> JT, I know how you feel, buddy.
Remember they used to bounce you? Set. Yes. Set up and they bounce you. Like, what the heck's that doing? Besides hurting more. Getting your mind off it, maybe? I guess. That's when I started wearing a cop. I never wore one before. I always played, you know, I was in the outfield. I didn't think our pitchers were that bad. I'd need a cup in the outfield, but my manager, Nabal, said, Have you ever fouled ball? I said, No. And then you did. Well, I, he made me wear a cup that night. The first pitch, fouled one off, hit the plate, came up and hit me. He's down at third base laughing. I put one on now. When I was playing, if I had an off day, I still put it on. Never know, Tom. Never know when something's going to come flying in that dugout. It didn't come all the way back, all four. For a moment, I thought you meant you put it on now, even to this day. No, I don't know. There's Wilmer Flores coming up. The gang reacts to, to the sudden retirement of linebacker Miles Jack and what that means for the defense. That and all the Eagles news and analysis on Bird's Huddle tonight following Phillies postgame live. 27 years old Miles Jack is. And he's retiring. 28, yeah, he's, he's young. He was a big time player when he first came into the league. Was there any reason like. I didn't see any reason. We'll watch Bird's Huddle. We'll figure it out. Let's get a double play right here. Swing and a foul. Two. Clock is down to one second. Aaron stepped off. Going to reset, Todd. Ground ball that softly way. off the mound. Stott has it. Flips to turn it for one. Over to first in time. Four six three double play. Okay, Trey had to go a long way for that ball, but you know that's a smart thing by Bryson Stott. Sometimes you wait and try to time it. He got it to him quick enough where Trey could work. Look how far this where Trey was, and just his momentum taking him toward first made that a lot easier. You know, Bryson tries to. Uh, Bryson tried to time it. To where he's coming off the base, and it could have, you know, been a little ugly, but they executed that perfectly. Pretty athletic, too, those mm -hmm. two. Outside, it's 1 0. To Michael Conforto, who's 1 for 2. Be ready, Alec. Out to short left. Schwarber is under it. And he reels it in. Another quick inning for Aaron Nola. We'll head to the bottom of the sixth. 6-2 Six Pills. The Pennsylvania Lottery. Pennsylvanians are scratching their way to fun thanks to Pennsylvania Lottery scratch-offs. Players must be 18 or older. Please play responsibly. And by your local Ford store, visit buyfordnow.com today. All right, so Johan Rojas will lead things off. 0 for 2. He's popped out and grounded out. There's a strike, 0 and 1. Oh, 
and two. Opposite way, and that's going to leak into right center field, a base hit. It's the second hit the Phillies have had where they've shaded the second baseman over toward the middle. The other one was Trey Turner's base hit. And Kyle Schwarber's the batter. Well, his last at bat, Kyle wasn't real happy with the strike three call. Hope he went up to the umpire and told him he saw it on video and it was a strike or it was a ball. I don't know. Mm. Didn't look very animated. Got him. And he is out at first base. 1 3 on the pickoff. Phillies are going to take a look at it. And they're going to say play on. Yeah, he's, he got a couple. That front leg started hopping out there. Didn't get out there enough, did he? I don't know. Second time he's been picked off yeah. since he's been brought up. A one pitch to Schwarber in the dirt, one and one. Is there a cue from the catcher there, John? Yeah, I think the catcher could see better than this seven footer. <laughs> oh, it's whacked out to left center. It is a mile high. You know, the catch is made by Meckler. I wanted to see this battle between Patrick Bailey and Johan Roas, Taryn. Tip there. He's really Patrick Bailey. He's he's made quite a few defensive, impressive defensive plays since he's uh, been up with the Giants. In fact, among all catchers in the major leagues right now, he leads all catchers with 16 defensive runs saved. He's just 24 years old. He said he attributes a lot of his success to his preparation. So I went and I talked to JT Real Muto today, who knows a thing or two about prep, and he said it really it makes things so much more comfortable and it changes the game for you when you can come in feeling confident, knowing you're prepared. He said it took JT a season or two to really settle into his preparation routine. He said Jeff Mathis showed him how to watch video, how to read a scouting report, and then a couple years later when A.J. Ellis was backing him up, he taught him how to read tendencies, something like what we might have seen with Johan Rojas right there, and really dive deeper into watching film and reading those scouting reports. JT said that it truly does. It changes the game for you if you're able to consume data and be comfortable with what you're looking at. So it's a huge advantage for Patrick Bailey. Now, Patrick Bailey, he also picked up chess to stay mentally sharp. Guys, I asked JT if he's done anything like that. He said, no, I chase my children around, and that <laughs> keeps me both mentally and physically as sharp as I can handle. I so I that. think that's fair. Yeah, I would agree with that. That one's hit back toward the middle. That'll be a base hit to left center field. Turner's going to skate over to third. And he first and third with two men down. How big is that pickoff now? For the Giants, it is huge. All right, so two on, two outs, and Bryce is coming up. By the way, Turner did not reach on an infield hit. It was an error on Camargo. Watch this, John. He just he had it. Oh, he just bobbled it. 0-2. Oh
backfield, and he's going to try to throw that breaking ball again down to Bryce's back, back foot. He did. And Bryce strikes out. So the side is retired. No runs, two hits. There was one error and two men left. We're on to the seventh inning. The Phillies up by four, six to two. It's six to two. Phillies are on top as we go to the seventh inning. Alec Bohm is a solo home run. He's got a single two run score. Bryce Harper, an inside the park home run and an RBI single. Aaron Nola, he's about to begin his seventh inning of work after throwing a, a boatload of pitches in inning number one. He, he's kind of found something here. Odds powered by points bet. The opening odds, the Phillies were favored. Now they're really favored. There's Jose Alvarado warming up. And Patrick Bailey leads it off against Nola. And Nola delivers a strike in its own one. Didn't think this was going to happen. Aaron seeing the seventh inning not after the way that. It started. You're not right. the way it started, no, but two solo homers, but other than that. Defense has been good though behind him. He's got 10 ground ball outs tonight. And only 79 pitches right now. It's amazing. Check swing, no swing. So Jim Wolf, that national series, all buffed out. He was, he, his uh, arms were, were pumping. Yeah, they were. Popped up, left side, Turner's there. And he makes the catch. What a way. Johan Camargo coming up. Time now for a Chick fil A nugget on this day. In 2021, Aaron Nola faced his brother Austin three times at Petco Park, marking the first time in Philly's history a pitcher faced his own brother, who was a position player on the opposing team. And the first time a Philly faced uh, his own brother at all since uh, Mike Maddox faced his brother Greg Maddox on July 31st, 1988. He had a near no hitter in that game. Aaron did. Yeah. Cronenworth got him, right? Yeah, Jake Cronenworth. Pitches to work with here. I, I would try to establish that, that one that starts at Camargo and breaks over the inside. He got that. He has to have that pitch going down the stretch against lefties. Ninety-four. Matt Strom warming up at the Every bullpen. Every day, Matty. <laughs> You know, I don't think he would have it any other way. I don't think he can sit down there that long. It feels like it just makes him sharper. Now throw it here. Over the first big hop for Alec Paul to the bag. Three unassisted, 11 ground ball outs. And Blake Sable's coming up. Monday, August 28th, it's Mickey Moniak and the rest of the Angels coming to town to take on the Phils. Two night games and a day game. Wednesday is at 105. What are your tickets now by going to Phillies.com? I, I bought in. Uh, you should. 
I mean, former Philly, you got to give him, give him some props. Now, who else they got on that team is worth a darn. Mm. Have you uh, updated anything with Gubig's, uh, whether he's Shohei Otani's person or something? Well, Ben called or text him. No, I'll text him now. I'll text him between innings. They're not playing today, right? No, they're postponed. Yeah, I'm sure he ain't doing nothing. Maybe he's watching. He can just tell us. What a pitch to Sable. Low. Took uh, some of Adams' digits off in the dugout. Bat boy. <laughs> Outside corner, two and two. The end of the bat, just ah. past Bryson's stop. And Sable's got a base hit. A two out single here in the seventh. Tell you what, what an effort by Bryson Stott. Just, golly, hey, how close did he come to that? Hit right off the end of his glove, and he's really upset with it. That part of his glove. Yeah. Or fouls it away. That hit his back leg. I couldn't tell what it hit. JT. And that one just missed. A little change up that faded. The ball, two strikes. And you watch the way Meckler has his bat. He drops the barrel and might be getting something up in the zone. Morris Varen strikes him out. Stay up in the zone. Turn something up. Just got a piece of it again. Seam her up, please. Hmm. One and two. <laughs> we tried it, just didn't come back all the way. Two outs. 
here in the top of the seventh inning. Phillies lead it six to two. Aaron about to throw his 100th pitch of the night. He threw 28 pitches in the first inning and bounced back to throw six in the second. And really hasn't looked back. Finish it here, Aaron. 3 2. Swing and a miss. He did finish it. He picked up his fifth strikeout of the night. 158 on the season. No runs. One hit and one man left. You want to talk about battling. Eight pitch at bat to most likely wrap up Aaron's night as we stretch. 6-2 Phillies after six and a half. And for a guy who was two and three with a 5-5-6 five, five, coming in his last five starts, Aaron Nola pretty good tonight, Mr. Yeah, Pitcher. Yeah, he looked pretty good. I, I think the Giants let him off the hook in the first inning, and then he kind of cruised from there. Uh, he didn't have his best stuff early on, but, I mean, as he moved on, he got a lot of ground balls. I've been saying I think he should just attack the bottom of the zone with movement, get the ground balls, don't be afraid of contact. I think we finally saw that in Aaron Nola. We haven't seen that in a bunch of his starts here. Uh, recently, but I like that he's he's not afraid of contact tonight. And then the bats relatively quiet last night. I know they got three late and they explode. Twelve hits, three home runs. Two. Especially, th well, we'll talk about that <laughs> in the post game. What do you think of that Harper inside the Parker? Hey, they gave him right inside the Parker, so so be it. Oh, uh, we got to send it back. There's a shot to right field, Tommy. Thank you, Michael. Alec Baum is on his way to second base, and he'll get there standing as he starts the bottom of the seventh inning. I thought we did well there. Did really well. That little segment. <laughs> oh, it'll bring JT up now with a runner in scoring position. I, and I think this is what makes Alec Bump special. I mean, he pulls a home run. Marsh is dancing. I mean, if Marsh is dancing, what? I mean, it's got to be a fun day. But then he can shoot something the other way for for extra bases. He's just become a complete hitter. And the power is going to come, folks. Just JT fouls it away. Seven innings, seven hits. Breaking ball just ain't breaking top. It's like slipping out of his hand. Yep. Well, you'd think his hands would be big enough, it wouldn't slip. Probably hold it like a ping pong ball <laughs> for us normal humans. He's got excellent posture. Fanatics found his way to the dugout, John. How's his posture? Well, if they're winning, it's good. Over to third, Flores backhands deep behind the bag at third. He throws it high. It gets by Wade. JT to second, Baum to third. That'll be the third error of the night for the Giants. to see how they're going to score this. Is it a hit and an error? Is it a two base error? Yeah, Flores just kind of planted, but he didn't really stride. He threw kind of flat footed. Lamont, Lamont Wade Jr. just couldn't come up with it. Infield is in. Stopped down the left field line out of play. And it's 0 1. What'd they score it? I don't think they had. Well, there's definitely an error. I think it's got. I think it's a hit and an error, John. I hope he needs it. See so the alignment of the infield. Outside, one ball, one strike. Gabe's got the veins of popping in those arms today. 
Well, every day I would imagine. I don't think they come and go, do they? No, I don't think so. A bouncer off the plate. Bohm won't go home. They'll go to uh, first. 4 3 on the putout. Well, tomorrow it's announcers in the alley. That's right. We're going to be in the standing room section just in front of PJ Wheelahan's for tomorrow's broadcast. All four of us will be out there. Taryn will be roaming around the stadium. It's going to be a good spot to watch the game. All right, someone's got to tell that big dude right there he can't stand there tomorrow. <laughs> Grounded right. a short. Camargo's going to look bone back. Yeah, I have. That guy right there? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> sick Ruben on it. Maybe we can hire him for security for tomorrow. Could be good for protecting us. A couple yingling flights and probably do anything we want. Truth to that. Are we allowed to have any out there? Whatever. We're allowed to have him out there, yeah. Uh-oh, save ball. He misread it, and it's over his head. It's going to the wall. Two runs will score. Rojas is flying around second. He'll go to third. Boy, the Giants are just playing terrible defense tonight. Yeah, that's a big, though. You get second and third, no outs. You get a grounder to second, a grounder to short with the infield in. You can't score a run. And then Roas hits a tracer out there that Sable, I don't I I don't know if he didn't see it, but he he started running in. Ned just couldn't reach it. And how fast was Rojas getting around the bases? Good lord. That's a triple, right? Looks like that's what it's uh, been called. Yep. No! And now Schwarber takes on the inside corner, 0-1. Got a feeling this ball could travel long distances here. There you go, John. It's traveling a long distance into the second deck. Two run home run for Schwarber. His 33rd of the year. And if ever anything is a Schwarbaum. That certainly was. 444 feet. My Lord. That's, that's ridiculous. One eleven point four off the bat. Second deck. Trey Turner is the batter. He takes a strike. Ten to two, Phils. Oh, this is fun. The instantaneous reaction. Look at the guy in the white shirt up above Brandon Marsh. He reacted first. Tell you what, you don't need good eyes to know that one was gone. All you got to do is hear that one. Turner's down on strikes. The inning is over. The Phillies, though, scored four more runs in the inning. Capped off by Kyle Schwarber's 33rd home run of the year. Philadelphia area local Chevy dealers. Visit ChevyDealer.com. Matt Strom's take it over out on the mound. As we go to the top of the eighth inning. Time now for a Hyundai defensive plays of the game. Alec Baum's been busy tonight, yeah, John. Alec Baum's done it all today, offensively and defensively at first. There's the first one. This one here, the ball was almost by him against Camargo. A great feed. Another ball that he takes away from Bryson. Scott Bryson's trying to lead the league in assists, but Alec said, no, I need a few more. He gets him another assist right there. Just a complete game by Alec Bohm. And that's our Hyundai defensive play of the game. Brought to you by your local Hyundai dealers. 
We go to the top of the eighth inning after uh, Aaron Nola seven innings, seven hits, two runs, one walk, five strikeouts. What do you got? I, I worry that Christine thinks I'm stupid. <laughs> There's a fly ball to center. Rojas makes the catch, one out. And somebody agreed with you. Apparently, man. the production cavity feels the same way. It's not very nice. Huh. I guess tomorrow when we're out there, things can get a little sideways, can it? Well, they're going to get sideways. They're going to get sideways. Strike. 0 and 1. Off. Now 0 and 2. That's where we're going to be tomorrow. Surfside iced tea and vodka. We're going to be right above that near TJ Wheelahan. Tell you what, you all can have all the iced tea you want. I'm going vodka. How many do you think it's going to take? What? For you to really enjoy yourself. One. <laughs> and a call. Strike three. Two outs. All right. So two away. There's our security guard for tomorrow. Yeah, he's in. At least someone sent me a tweet thing saying, yeah, I'm in. I don't know if it was him or not. I think it might be. Here's Austin Slater. He's 0 for his last 22. And it's 0 and 1. Or 1 and 0, excuse me. the way swing and a miss a good inning by Matt Strom yeah, every really day Matty that was quick one two three Go the Giants. There he is. Your whiteness, Richie. Please hashtag College Series sponsored by Temple University's Fox School of Business. The sold out event gave 130 students representing 30 colleges the chance to go behind the scenes in the business of sports. So far, 800 students uh, have had a chance to participate in all of the series this year. Go to phillies.com slash college series for more information. As Castellanos is retired, one unassisted. A couple of changes for the uh, Giants. Matos is in left field. Ramos is in center, or right field, excuse me. And Sable moves from left field to behind the plate. And now Bryce Harper, who is two for four. Popped up near second. Camargo says he has it. And he does. So two quick outs. Like, like if, if you're the Giants, I know you know you want to win the game and all that, but like if you only gone through three pitchers, right? Mm -hmm. 
do you consider this a success even though you're losing 10 to 2 that you didn't have to blow your whole bullpen? Boy, that's a good question, John. I, like if the game was closer, he'd have used more bullpen guys. Yes, I would agree with that. I, I, that's why I don't understand. Well, maybe uh, Christine's right. Maybe I am a dummy. <laughs> <laughs> no bell that time. Well, they probably have to reload. She's got the thumbs up from Christine, so I guess she's approving of the dumminess. Is that a word? It could be anything you want. Okay. Honestly, if you use it enough, it could become a word. I believe I got my guy out there. Security guard? Jimmy. His name's Jimmy. That's foul. It's two and two. He said that uh, this is his summer weight. <laughs> and he'll be back on the treadmill after Labor Day. So I'm trying to find out if he's going to be at the game tomorrow. I think he's got to try to probably figure that out. Three and two. Put an earpiece thing in his ear so he looks like he's. Cracks, we have those crack security staff. Yeah, we have those. We can give him those. Back toward the middle, flag down. By Jelly, one three of the put out. Phillies go down in order. Time for the top of the ninth inning. Bill's trying to finish this one off. Dear drivers, Toyota has 20 models with all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive. Toyota, let's go places. Buy the Xfinity 10G network. The future starts now. Buy Citizens, official bank of the fills. And buy Independence Blue Cross. Learn more at IBX.com. Well, it's time now for our Audi electric play, brought to you by the e-tron at your local Delaware Valley Audi dealer. Yeah, we saw earlier in the game where Meckler gets too close to the wall and Bryce hit that thing just perfectly off that State Farm sign. Conforto didn't get over quick enough. Dusty was waving him on, and that's our Audi electric play of the game, Tom. Well, now we go to the top of the ninth inning. Now the Phillies trying to finish this one off, game one of the series. And Dylan Kobe is the new pitcher. Kobe, 19th game. It's one ball, one strike. <laughs> one and two. is called by Flores who is one for three he is singled struck out and grounded into a double play. Outside. Every time a Phillies pitcher throws a pitch of 95 or more Comcast will make a contribution to Phillies charities. Phillies baseball is brought to you by the Xfinity 10G network. The future starts now. Opposite way, that'll be a base hit for Flores, his second hit of the night. He can hit, man. Yeah, his bat to ball skills are, have always been good. There's Luis Matos. 245 with two home runs, 10 runs batted in. That means that Elliot Ramos will be up next. He's in the on deck circle.
Gotta throw some strikes here. Yeah, you'd think. Probably be pretty good to do, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, throw a strike here and then get a ground ball. And there you go. There we go. Now get a ground ball. Probably the third. Boy, if I'm right on this one, I might play the lottery. <laughs> but I'm going to pick my own numbers. Yeah, don't let the computer pick. I can't stand computers. You're so good at them, though. I, There's ball four. Maybe I'll let the computer pick now. All right, so now Ramos is coming up. Hitting 220 with a home run and two RBIs. At the knees. Nope, below the knees. What a no. It might have been a strike if he had his pants over his knees. Might have got that call, but. Is that, is that why you think they wear them like that? <laughs> Guy in the boot beside us was the first one I've seen. Hunter Pence? Yeah. Well, we can ask him. I'll ask him tomorrow. I don't think they would appreciate if we interrupt him. They do have a bat boy after all. It yes. would actually be very entertaining if you walked in right now and did it. There's Hunter. You ask him why he did yes. this. Did he know he was going to be a trendsetter? Maybe we could fire that one at him too. It would be funny if you walked in there right now and did it. He would not know what hit him. Well, I ain't busy. <laughs> <laughs> might not be back for the post game. You might want to handle that yourself. Two balls and no strikes. All positivity today in that post game. Yes, I'm sure. sure. Well, there we go. Two and one. This is not what you want. I don't think the Giants are going to score eight to tie it, but you don't want them getting anything where they feel like, you know, momentum. And there's ball four. The other thing, too, is you'd really prefer not to use another pitcher. Yeah, absolutely. You don't even want to get one up. All right, Caleb Cotham heading out to the mounds. It's an eight run lead for the Phils. JT's doing a lot of nodding. I think he's agreeing. I'm sure the message is, hey, we got an eight run lead, throw strike. Very scientific, Tom. Johnny Padres was the best. Well, that's, uh, that's one of the reasons I went to the mound. Just, Just to hear him? Yeah. And his raspy voice. Yeah, one time he went out there and he goes, I don't know why I'm coming out, but Jimmy sent me out here. Did he make you guys laugh a lot? Oh, gosh, yeah. Especially Mark, he went out, Mark Davis was getting lit up. St. Louis, we're. It was awful. And he went out and told him, he goes, you got great. Yeah. And Mark Davis looked at him and goes, what are you watching? <laughs> <laughs> well, he missed there. It's 1-0. Unfortunately, they're probably going to have to get somebody up. Working on stuff. Yeah. Oh, he hit him. 
This is all over the place. It's now 10 to 3. All right, so Camargo's hit by the pitch. So two straight walks at a hit batter. We got, we got Hoffman up. Yep. Jeff Hoffman starts to throw. I mean, that's a fastball that just yanked. Giants athletic trainer and Nick Ortiz, one of their coaches, uh, walking him down the first baseline. So 10 3 game. And Sable will be the batter. We almost forgot that the athletic trainer was still out there. Maybe he wants to hit. Yeah, this is just giving Hoffman time. You feel bad for him, but you know, I know you're still up seven, but there's no outs. Right. Base is loaded and can't let this thing. I mean, it's the last thing that Rob Thompson wanted was to have to get someone up. All right, so the home plate umpire breaks up the conversation. Bases remain loaded. And Blake Sable, the batter, he has 11 home runs this year. Just all out of whack, John. Yeah, it's just. I mean, if I'm JT, I'm I'm Yogi Berra standing up and say, "Here, throwing up here at my head." Two and zero. He has. I mean, he hasn't. He's been good. Yeah. This is just. I don't know. There you go. <laughs> Two balls, one strike. Oh, back to it now. Get a swing. If it's anywhere close. Back toward the middle, off the glove of Covey. It's in no man's land. Everybody is safe. It's now a 10 4 game. That could have been a, uh, a much needed double play. Here comes Rob Thompson. So pitching change. The Giants still have them loaded. It's a 10-4 game. We'll be back right after this. Braves in a four-game series on Monday, September 11th. It's a split doubleheader. Tuesdays at 6:40. Wednesday is also at 640. Tickets can be purchased by going to Phillies.com. Braves have been red hot. They got two home runs tonight from uh, Ozuna. They have 237 home runs in 124 games. It's the second most in Major League Baseball history through 124 games. Well. 
there's still no outs. Yeah, the batter is Meckler, the number eight hitter. He's 0 for 3. I'd like to see him throw something above his barrel. As you watch, that thing drops. It's almost parallel to the ground. That's low. Runners take their lead. One ball, two strikes. Base is loaded. And a line drive caught by Alec Ball. There's one, two. So they get the double play. Two quick outs. Pretty, pretty complete game by Alec Ball today. And how good is that? Down seven. Get doubled up right there. His run meant nothing. But we appreciate it. So now first and third with two outs. A six run game. Let's go, Fly ball, center field, not deep. Rojas comes sprinting in, makes the catch, and the ball game is over. And the Phillies take game one in what is an important series to stretch their lead in the wild card. The final score is the Phillies 10 and the Giants 4. Big night tonight for Schwarber. He had a home run. Bryce Harper had an inside the park home run. Alec Baum, he homered to left center field. And Edmundo went to right center for a bomb. The long ball was the Phillies' friend tonight. So the standings are better right now for the Bills. 68-57 back to 11 games over the 500 mark. And the Giants are set to start a rookie tomorrow. Good night for the Phillies offense. Good night for Aaron Nola too. Yeah, early struggles in that first inning, but boy did he bounce back and get seven. Chevrolet player of the game, Alec Bohm, solo home run, single double, hit by a pitch, three runs scored. You could have given it to any number of guys tonight. Uh, it was a complete team effort. Our Toyota Camry turning points of the game, the home runs we just talked about. Yeah, this is a big one right here. That put the Phillies ahead. Two run homer by Edmundo Sosa. And then Alec Bohm says, you know what, I'm going to get in this. And, hey, you know, it's not a baby Bjorn anymore, Tom. It's a right. baby Bohm. <laughs> that was a good shot, too. Yeah. And then this one here is, you know, it's every player wants to hit it inside the park. Homer, I know Bryce has hit two, this being the second. But once that ball got past Meckler out there in center field, there was no way Bryce was stopping. For that inside the park. And then this one just, my gosh. That hurt somebody up there in that second deck. That, that's, that's just historic deep there. And Alec joins us down on the field. Alec, this was kind of a complete game for you uh, and for the offense. Uh, how much fun are these games when you get so involved offensively and defensively? Yeah, you know, everybody doing their part. A lot of smiles in the dugout. It was, uh, it was a fun game. All right, the uh, guys are going to take care of you here real quick. It doesn't look like there's a lot are. of moisture. That looks like, oh, never mind. There's the moisture. Ah! Yeah. That's not too bad. Oh, and a little snack too, some mango. 
Hey, These are good. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. You're going to need more. Good. And some uh, Nutella. You got to eat it, he said. <laughs> Alec, how important are these games against the Giants, the way things are going? Every game is important, but, yeah, you know, everybody kind of knows where the standings are and all that stuff. So, uh, you know, it's kind of this time of year through the end where you got to bring it. So, uh, you know, we're just looking to play good baseball, play our game every day, and, uh, you know, not play the team across from us. But, uh, you know, we definitely know the circumstances for sure. Alec, you have worked so hard defensively. And going from third to first, back to third, back to first, you have done it seamlessly, and, and it's been an impressive thing. Do you feel good about everything that you've worked for? Now it's coming to fruition as far as defensively goes? Yeah, I mean, it's it's good to see some results on the field, right? You know, I think uh, the improvements at third base have uh, really helped the transition to playing some first base a lot. And, uh, you know, it's the game's... You know, it's slowing down a little bit for me on defense, and, uh, you know, I'm just able to make the right reactions and the right moves and put myself in a good position to make plays and, uh, you know, just keep going from here. You've hit for a long time, and I know you were going through a little bit of a speed bump these last several games, but you're able to work your way out of it. How important is your confidence to stay at a certain level to come through these situations like this? That's that's hitting, man. You know, it's, it's all about confidence, all about how you feel in there, and, uh, you know, you can't let those over days leak into the next day and, you know, Make an 0 for 4, 0 for 8, turn into 0 for 15, 0 for, you know. So uh, it's all about staying confident, trusting yourself, knowing who you are, and just going up there and putting together good at-bats. Uh, the good thing is, Alec, the way you're hitting this year, maybe two years ago if you struggled, you might not play for a few days, you know you're going to be in there every day. Yeah, you know, this that's a big part of it, right? This staff trusts me, and I feel that. And, uh, you know, I, I know that. Maybe if I struggle for a couple games that, you know, I don't have to look over my shoulder and uh, I just keep trusting what I'm doing and, uh, you know, the results are going to come. Well, heck of a night tonight, defensively and offensively. Yes, Thanks for sir. joining us. Yes, sir. Good Thank job, you, guys. Alec, yep. Alec Bohm's our guest. The Phillies' uh, offense came to life, and so did Aaron Nola. After a rough first inning, kind of figured some things out, went seven for the Phillies. Our next broadcast will be tomorrow night. Join us at Ashburn Alley all night long as we broadcast from our Surfside location in section 146 for game two of this series, 6.30 on NBC Sports Philadelphia, streaming on the NBC Sports app. Phillies pregame live begins at 6. The senior producer of Phil's baseball, Jeff Hallison. John DeSangro is our associate producer, and tonight's director, Nick Marchetta. For John Crump, Taryn Hatcher, and our entire crew, I'm Tom McCarthy. Thanks for watching, everyone. Phil's win it. They take game one of this series. Stay tuned. Cure Auto Insurance presents Phil's postgame live. Coming up next.